Mike with TechPB, and today I'm going to show you how to take apart and service the regulator on your Smart Parts Vibe. Um, now, the Smart Parts kind of designed these so that you can't really get into them, but I'm going to show you how to get into them. They're actually very easy. It does require the purchase of a special tool. The tool that you need to get is a set of point, uh, what is it, point zero three eight inches, the snap pliers, snap ring pliers. So point zero three eight eighth of an inch snap ring pliers. The reason why is there's a snap ring at the bottom of the regulator and if you notice if you try to take your smallest allen key the point zero five zero and try to stick it in there it still doesn't fit. So you have to go and get yourself a pair of point zero three eight snap ring pliers. Now there's not a single hardware store in town that's going to have this. Okay, there's not a single automotive store in town that's going to have this. All of the part, all of the snap ring sets that they sell are generally too big. So where I got mine, and probably the best place that you can get yours is on eBay. I believe you can find one of these for about five to six dollars. It's going to save you a ton of time, ton of money driving around. So .038 snap ring pliers. You're going to need that to remove the uh, the the bottom snap ring off the bottom of your vibe rig. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the reg from the vibe. Now unlike the Smart Parts Ion where you had to remove the rubber grip that was on the outside the sleeve, with the vibe you don't have to do that. Now what you're going to do is get your um, .038 snap ring pliers, push it down into the snap ring, spread it apart, and remove it. And go ahead and pull off the swivel. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take pretty much the largest Allen key that you have in your Allen key set and put it in through the top. And that's going to lock the regulator in place. And then you take your wrench and unscrew the bottom piece. Now when you um, unscrew this, it's not like before where you know it was reverse threaded, lefty loosey, unscrews it right out. Okay, and then now out drops the spring. And now with a little tap, you should be able to, uh, the piston should pop out. And another tap. There it goes. So out comes the piston. Now this is about as far as you really need to go with the vibe regulator. The only thing that's left inside here, and we'll go ahead and take it apart for the purposes of the video. The only thing that you'll need to take apart, um, you know, if, is, is that right there. You lube the piston, lube the O-ring, and that's about it. But people are going to ask, well, what's, all, what's that extra group of parts that's up there at the very top? I believe this is the safety valve. And out comes the spring, piston, and that. And this little coin here. Um, this, I believe, is the safety valve. So this is what, uh, like if you're using CO2 and the pressure gets too high, this is what vents it. Um, there's nothing really here for you to, um, you know, for you to lube up or anything like that, but, um, people are going to ask what it is and that's basically what it is. It's just the, uh, the exhaust valve or the, uh, the safety valve. Um, you have, it looks like a little coin here with a hole in it. Uh, you've got a little piston, you have a spring and you have the carrier here, you know, that has an O-ring. Um, so you basically arrange it like that. And then what you do is uh, just screw it back up into the gun, uh, into the regulator body. And you're just going to want to look down through the top of the regulator and make sure that as you go and put it in there that it lines up. Um, there we go. So you just screw it in until it stops. And it may take you a couple turns. Okay, so just screw it all the way in until it stops, and that's it. There's really nothing to do there. I mean, maybe if yours is leaking constantly, you may want to look and see if maybe there's some dirt or debris in there, but for the most part, there's really nothing that you need to do with that blow-off valve. Now, um, here we have the regulator piston. So what we're going to do is we'll just take, you know, take your favorite sauce, what, you know, your favorite, call it sauce, call it, take your favorite lubricant, whatever you want, uh, lube up the shaft, lube up the piston head, and then um, inside of here, all you have really inside of here is just the adjustment nut. Uh, there's really, well first off, there's really no tool that's going to get in there to remove the snap ring that's down inside there. So you really don't have to take this apart. I would just suggest leaving it as it is. And, um, and if anything, 
um, you know, just t uh, take a little bit of extra lube, put it on the shaft here, and then when you put it back down in here, that's going to lubricate that inner O-ring. But there really is nothing inside here other than the velocity adjustment screw, um, you know, that for you to really service. The most important thing is definitely this piston. You want to make sure that this piston, um, you know, has plenty of lubricant on it. It's clean. There's no debris, no dirt on the head or anything like that. So now that we have that. Uh, let's go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my finger, put it inside here really quick, just make sure that it's all nice and clean, which it is. So let's go ahead and take this whole assembly, slide it back into the regulator, tighten it down. So I'll take a couple turns and once you get it down there, just give it a little, little snug and that's in place. Then what we're going to do is let's go ahead and put the um, the swivel, put the swivel in place. We have to slide up this little rubber ring here. Okay, so the swivel is in place. Now let's go ahead and take the snap ring. Let's put the snap ring in place. There we go. And now what we're going to do is let's put some air in the gun and make sure that it seals. Okay, now that we've got the regulator back on the gun, let's go ahead and take a drop of TriFlow and put it inside the ASA. I always recommend anytime you're dealing with these direct mount ASAs, always put you know a drop of tri-flow on the threads there uh, it's going to make screwing your tank in and out of your gun so much easier so let's go ahead and screw the tank in and let's just make sure we don't have any leaks or there we go let's go ahead and turn on our vibe okay our vibe is on let's see sounds good to me so uh, there's no leaks, uh, no problems. So hopefully that helps you take apart and service your Vibe regulator.